Hi, Rob Harris with Furman here. We're in Hollywood, California for a premiere event of Steve Vai's new DVD release, Where the Wild Things Are, live in Minneapolis. It's also a charity event for Hollywood Arts. Let's go inside and see what he's doing. This is Rob Harris here with Furman, and we are at Steve Vai's red carpet premiere event and charity for the Hollywood Arts Foundation. And uh, just want to say it's an honor to be here, and uh, you know Thank it's a you. great charity. And could you tell us a little more about the charity? Yes, but first I want to marvel at that phenomenon of communicating with somebody through email for a long time, and then finally getting to meet them. Nice, you know, which is this guy right here. And I would have never expected he looked this cool with these glasses and that, you know. So, all right, next well, up. You know, I, I am a bit of very a cool. musician that this guy has definitely inspired me there you throughout go. the years from flexible on out. Oh, on thanks, that, Rob. Honestly, serious. Okay, so um, I made this DVD. I'm a musician, <laughs> guitar, rock guitar player that uh, does some compositional things sometimes. And I got this rock band uh, with two violin players. It turned out fantastic. And I wanted to do something special for the release. And I've been on the board of directors at this uh, organization in Hollywood called Hollywood Arts. And it's really a great organization. It, uh, it uh, takes at-risk and homeless teens from the street and it puts creative tools in their hand. You know, there's an array of, you know, uh, computers and uh, programs and teachers that, that help teach them and fashion, you know. Wow. And there's a little music room and kids can come in and learn instruments and learn how to record and record songs. And, you know, it, it's the, the, the idea is that, you know, when you, I mean, these kids, they're, you know, some of their stories are extraordinary. You know, I mean, you, 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 when you imagine, you, you can't imagine. But what happens is, is when, when they enter that creative element, it's like a, it's a whole, it takes, you know, you know what it's like when you're creating something, you're in a different realm. Your mind is focused on something different than, you know, your life. And what happens Absolutely. is it's a very cathartic kind of process, you know, and I just have seen such amazing things happen with these kids, you know, and because when you when you create something, you you kind of get a sense of accomplishment. Absolutely. You know, and it gives you like a feeling of dignity, and and boy, that's sorely needed in these kids. So, supporting that organization is vital because it's the difference between a kid going into society and being either you know a real challenge to the system or a healthy contributor to a to a you know a vital uh, culture you know and and Absolutely. I've seen it happen I've seen it these kids come out some of them we've put in schools and uh, colleges and jobs so Holly, that's what Hollywood Arts does and I decided to have this premiere to help raise funds because we need the funds you know we need the funds to keep it going Absolutely. and uh, it's turning out really great that's great that's yeah. great Steve uh, in this in this live DVD that you did is this the first time you've ever done blu-ray uh, is this the first yes. high def one nice. yes because it's relatively a new medium and a lot of artists are not releasing blu-rays on con for concerts because it's very expensive <laughs> you know to author a DVD on blu-ray uh, and labels don't really they're not backing it count numbers point. that I mean no, they look at numbers and bottom lines and since I'm my own label, I can do whatever I want, and, you know. Marvelous. I, wanted, I just felt like it was important to just put my best foot forward and do the, be the best that I can, you know. And when you see it on Blu-ray, there's a big difference. It is. I've seen a few of the excerpts, and it's just it's phenomenal clarity, audio, audio and visual. Yeah, thanks. What, what Furman products were you utilizing in that show? Do you recall? Well, I have. You know, I'm, I'm bad at remembering the numbers, but sure. there's there's the uh, you know the electronic block that yeah, everything yeah. goes into. I Absolutely. can't remember the. the that's you know, the, the P1800 PFR. That's it. Is that guy? Yeah, yeah. Because you know when you're traveling around the world, there's different voltages coming in all over the place. And you, it might be 220, but it's not really, you know? No. And if voltage drops, the, the, your sound is kaput. You know? Absolutely. And, and the other thing is, is uh, if, it, if it's too much, it'll spike your equipment and blow your rig. So you have to have, and I've had, you know, power conditioners just blow up, you know? So, you know, I've been through quite a few. So the, nice. the Furman stuff is just held out. It's like a brick wall, man. And that's how we designed it now, is that it is a brick it's wall, It's a brick wall, and when, I, when I'm in, if I'm in, you know, Tel Aviv, 
you know, Latvia or Detroit, I know that when I plug in, it's going to sound the same. It's a real <laughs> blessing. And those are kind of jungle environments, all of them, if you think about it, <laughs> concrete or otherwise. Yeah, Detroit being <laughs> the most challenging. The <laughs> most challenging. I notice you have a lot of stuff here that uh, for the silent auction. Yeah. What, what, what are the uh, some of the things that you would name off that you I would can't, be your favorite? I mean, you should or, go I mean, around and check because it's unbelievable. And this is just the silent auction stuff. I mean, we got stuff that's on eBay that's... I can't believe how generous people can be. I, I've got stuff from Madonna, the wow. Pee Wee Herman, wow, I mean, nice. Metallic, everybody. <laughs> I mean, and my favorite artist, Tom Waits. Wow. Really, you know? Very and nice. I'm giving away this big rig over here. And also, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, Slash gave us a top hat. Lovely. That was really oh, great. I'm and a guitars top hat lover. from, you know, from really, you know. Paul Gilbert on down. Yeah, I did Paul see Gilbert some of the guitar. items. Yeah, some really great stuff. And that's that's awesome. Yeah. I mean, you know, just a bunch of big hearts, and that's really what mm -hmm. it's all about. Yeah, really. Uh, Steve, with that, we're looking forward to the show, and I can't wait. And it's Thank finally you so a pleasure to, to meet you. you. Finally, yeah. yeah, absolutely. You all know, right. and you know where I'm at if you need me. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank, Thank you. Bye. Okay, this is Rob with Furman, and we're signing out. We're gonna go watch the show. All right, hang out, kids. I'm sorry, but Pumpa. Rob Harris of Furman here, and I am dead tired, man. Just watched the end of uh, Steve Vai's Where the Wild Things Are. Great red carpet event with lots of stars and uh, just a great charity event. And uh, basically, I'm burned out and ready to go, folks. Take care, and we'll see you next time.